so you want to build a SAS. Here is a diagram that's going to help you build a SAS. It's going to help you find your value and build your roadmap. Determine your customer segment and write excellent product statements. Determine your product vision. Understand your customer's journey from the job they hire you to do all the way out through the customer's upgrade, renewal, churn, or return to your business and operations. Additionally, we can talk about how to scope your work, integrate controls, processes, and automation, and more effectively map your customer's pain points, understand their roadblocks, and effectively develop your product roadmap without all the hassle. So you'll understand how to build your agency uh, that you're going to do, your service. You'll understand how to develop your product market, and you'll understand your customers' needs. And then you're going to be able to understand your customer and why they're hiring you for the job that you're going to be doing for them, right? So this consumption job ranges from the whole product life cycle, right? Software development life cycle from acquisition and purchasing all the way through disposal. You'll integrate your strategic objectives and compliance. You'll start to build your operations with security and privacy in mind, bolstering your confidentiality, integrity, availability, and organizational safety. Then you'll learn how to integrate technology, people, data, and process, where you'll understand the job performer, what job they're doing, how they're doing it, why, and the circumstances around it. You'll have understanding, awareness, and execution for the service that you're delivering to your clients. And hang on, we're also going to start talking about how to develop cybersecurity policies, standards, and procedures for your SaaS. These malicious cyber activities right here are an example of what a cyber actor might do to disrupt your SaaS. And we want to raise the deterrence, right, and force them to abandon their efforts. But for those who are persistent, we are going to prevent their attacks. And for those who are even more persistent, we're going to make sure that we can detect. And then that lets our organization adapt and continue to thrive. We're going to use proactive, detective, responsive actions and controls. So follow along to learn more about how to build a SaaS and integrate some cybersecurity.